Hi guys, this is Daniel from FND. In this video, we are going to see how to use Flux AI with LoRa's in TensorArt for free. So let's get started. So go to tensor.art. I drop the link in the description. So while clicking the link in the description, you will get this uh, post in TensorArt. Then you can click on get more credits and you can see extra 50 credits will be gifted to you. So you can uh, continue with Google or Discord or with your any email address. So type in your email address and continue and you will get the verification mail to your uh, email. Then click on that uh, verification email and your account will be created. So your account will be created with extra 50 credits. Uh, daily you will be getting 100 credits. So using this 100 credits we can generate flux images for free. So go to TensorArt from the link in the description. Then click on create. So I already used some of the credits you can see over here. So daily you will get 100 credits. So for each image there will be 4.41 credits usage. So you can also reduce that uh, or increase that if you want to upscale. Right now I'm upscaling. If you don't want upscale you can uh, turn off and your credits will be reduced. Also I'm using sampling steps 25 you can also reduce that to 20. So you can see this is using 1.6 credits only. So I want high quality results. So I'm going to increase the sampling steps and I'm going to upscale by 2x. Here you can select any basic models. So click on that and uh, you will get different uh, models. You can use flux colors, ST3. So many different models are available over here. I'm going to use flux and inside flux you will have dev and channel. I'm going to use dev. So select that, click on use recommended and here is the prompt box. So type in any prompt you want. I'm going to use this simple prompt. So this is a simple prompt I'm going to use. And instead of using this as a simple prompt, you can improve this prompt. And uh, prompt improvement doesn't require any credits. You can uh, use it for free. So click on this improve prompt or you can also use random prompts it will generate random prompts so from my given prompt it is generated this long prompt a warm and cozy scene unfolds a golden retriever is nestled comfortably on a plush couch it's for blending harmoniously etc so click on generate to generate the image and this is the result and this one is without using any LoRa's so if you want to add LoRa you can also do that click on add LoRa and you will get many LoRa's available in this platform you can also change the number of images one two four uh, the four is only available in uh, pro so I'm going to use two and your credit usage will be multiplied. Click on add LoRa and you can select any LoRa's from here. You can also have filters on the top. You can select any one from here. So I'm gonna use uh, pixel art style uh, LoRa. So I'm gonna search for pixel art. So I'm gonna use this uh, style. I'm gonna, I like this one. So I'm gonna use this style. Next, add this to the prompt. So, add this and i'm gonna cut here i'm gonna add this a warm and cozy scene in the style of a z pixel unfolds so click on generate let's see how this turns out for some reason it is not uh, converting it into pixel art let me try a short prompt instead of the long one the dog sitting in the couch then in the style of as you pixel uh, let's try this time i'm going to use uh, one image since uh, it will uh, reduce the credit amount and you can see the result so this is the pixel art style and this is the result and you can see it is using this pixel style lora so that's it so this is how we can use tensor art to generate images using flux so thanks for watching
If you like this video, give thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more future tutorials. Also, press the bell icon so that you can get instant notification when I upload a video. Thanks for watching and bye.